Okay, today's lesson is 8.1, equations of lines in a two space and three space. Vector equation of line in two space. So this is R is equal to R plus Tm. R is any, is x and y, right? R0 is any point on your graph. Could be x0, y0, plus t is the parameter t could be any number one two three zero point five any number you you want you you can have it there and m it is going to be m1 and m2 what they are this is the directional vector it's like a slope okay i will talk about that more let's say i have x1 y1 on the graph and x2 y2 on the graph okay if i want to find a directional vector directional vector m gonna be x2 minus x1 y2 minus y1 I'm just saying that how much you move if you move by x2 minus x1 in x direction you move by this much in a y direction so this is going to be the directional vector let's do an example well, actually, I want to write a parametric equation for that. So for parametric of that, so x equal to what? x0 plus t multiplied by m1 and y equal to y0, y equal to y0 plus plus t m2. So this is parametric equation. Metric equation. So that was vector equation. This is parametric equation. Well, everyone know the scalar equation in this form, you know, ax plus by plus c is equal to zero. This is a scalar form. Now, let's just look at this question. Vector equation through, okay, find a vector equation through this. I know the general, the general form going to be x, y equal to x, 0, y, 0 plus t and 1 and 2. I know that x0, y0 could be any point. I could either use this point or that point for that. So I just, let's say, put 1 and 4 here. Plus t is a parameter. M1 and M2. So to find M1 and M2, I just need to find a directional vector between these two points. So directional vector is going to be, let's say, 3 minus 1 and 1 minus 4, which is... 2, negative 3. So I put that there. 2, negative 3. Now I want to write a parametric if you want. It didn't ask, but let's just do the parametric. x equal to 1 plus 2t and y is equal to 4 minus 3t. Now find 3 more points on the line. If you want to find a 3 more point on the line, instead of the t you put what? Let's say 0. So if I put t equal to 0, then my x is going to be 1 and my y is going to be 4. If I put t 1, <coughs> I put it 1, the x is going to be 3. The y is going to be what? 4. Sorry, it's going to be y is going to be 1. These two points are already had, but if you want to find more, just put t to be negative 1. If I put negative 1 here, you will get x equal to negative 1. Put negative 1 here, you get 7. You just put t to be <coughs> negative 2 or 2. If you put t negative 2, it would be negative 4 plus 1 is negative 3 it's now it's gonna be y is 13 so you can put t any number and 
solve for x and y. So determine if this point is on a line. So we have a parametric equation, right? So for x is that, for y is that. So if the x is 2, means 2 equal to 1 plus 2t, <clears throat> and y is 3. 4 minus 3 t and stuff the x and y here I put 2 and 3 and so for t if I solve for t it's gonna be 1 over 2 if I solve for t it's gonna be negative 1 over negative 3 as you see I get two different t therefore this point is not gonna be on a line if this point is on a line it should be we should get the same t Okay, next question. Consider the line L1, x equal to 3 plus 2t, y equal to negative 5 plus 4t. This is a parametric equation. Find coordinate of the two point on a line. Two point on a line, let's just say t equals 0, the x is 3, the y is negative 5. t equal to 1, you get x equal to 5, y equal to negative 1. So this is going to be... 2.3, negative 5, 5, and negative 1. Write a vector equation line. So for vector equation, see I have x, y, so I just put x, y. My point is 3, negative 5, so 3, negative 5. And directional vector is 2, 4. Plus 2, 4, t. Okay. Write a scalar equation of line. So to write the scalar equation of line, I need to rearrange this one for t, rearrange this one for t. Let's say x I know is equal to 3 plus 2t, and I know y is equal to negative 5 plus 4t. So what is this? If I rearrange this for t, it would be t, going to be x minus 3 divided by 2. Yeah? And if I rearrange it for t, it's going to be y plus 5 divided by 4 equal to t so these two t i can equal it to each other so x minus 3 over 2 equal to y plus 5 over 4 i just need to cross multiply i can simplify this is 1 this is 2 so it's better so it's going to be 2x minus 6 equal to y plus 5 see that um 2x minus y um, minus 11 equal to 0 okay <clears throat> so next one determine if L1 is parallel to L2 so the directional vector here is y 3 and 12 this is the directional vector I call it M1 and the directional vector for the other one is 2 and 4. I want to see if they are multiple of each other or not. So 3 over 2, I want to see if this is the same as 12 over 4. So 12 over 4, if you divide by 3, I'm oh sorry, divide by 4, what do you get? So you get 3, but here is just 3 over 2. Therefore, they are not, so they are not same ratio. So the m1 is not multiple by m2. As you say that is not parallel. Okay. <clears throat> Next question. Example three. So graphing the line, everyone know how to do this. If you want, just pick the two point on the line. So if the x is zero, the y gonna be what? Negative four. And if the y is 0, the x is going to be negative 5. So here is x 0, y is negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. This is the y intercept. Here is the x intercept. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. x intercept and y intercept. And this is the graph of my line. So this is negative 5, this is negative 4. Easy. Determine position vector that is perpendicular to the line. So position vector that is perpendicular to a line, I know that the slope here, the, like a, the normal slope, what is the slope? 
is going to be a rise over a run, right? It's going to be negative 4 over 5. See, the slope is negative. The m prime is the perpendicular slope to that. What is it? It's going to be 5 over 4. Therefore, if you um, if I want to do the position vector for that, like the directional position vector for m prime, it would be what change in y going to be 5 and change in x going to be 4. It's going to be 4 and 5. Kind of this is delta x, this is the delta y, right? So you know the m prime going to be delta y over the delta x, change in y over change. So for delta y going to be 5 and that. So therefore the answer for this question is going to be 4 and 5. How does this vector equation related to this scalar? As you see, this is coefficient of the x, right? And this is the coefficient of the y, so here, 4 and 5. Therefore, we can conclude if we have a general equation ax plus by plus c is equal to 0, the, per, the direction of the, I call it n, perpendicular vector to this line gonna be a and b which is the coefficient for x and coefficient of the y so I know the perpendicular vector to the line write a vector equation of a line so I know that m of the line that is perpendicular to that line is gonna be what it's gonna be this I can choose any point like to be on this line that is perpendicular to line. let's just put the point to be zero zero or any other point therefore the y is equal to this or x is equal to the point zero plus 40 and y is equal to zero plus 50 so simple if you want to put it in a vector equation, you get uh, 4, 5, and here is t. Now, this is a conclusion that I already did talk to you. If you have the scalar equation, the normal vector to your line going to be the coefficient of the x and coefficient of the y. I call it n. So next question in 3D R is R0 plus TM um, means R gonna be X, Y, and Z component X0, Y0, Z0 and again here is TM okay, plus gonna be M1, M2, M2, M3 so this is gonna be in 3 dimension again M1 gonna be X2 minus X1, M2 gonna be y2 minus y1 and m3 gonna be z2 minus z1 so this is the directional vector so a, a line passes through these two point write a vector equation of the line so first the directional vector so 3 minus 2 is 1 6 minus minus 1 is 7 negative 4 minus 5 is negative 9 so this is a directional vector and I have a point, so I just write it down. X, Y, and Z, my point. I can choose either of these two, it just doesn't matter. So I choose that one, 2, negative 1, and 5, plus T in the directional vector, which is 1, 7, and negative 4. Okay, write parametric equation of the line. So since I have this vector equation, you know that. So x is going to be what? 2 plus t, 2 plus 1t, y is negative 1 plus 7t, and 5 plus negative 4t, z is 5 plus negative 4t. So determine if the point is uh, lies on the line. So again, for x and y and z, you put 0, negative 15, and 9. So you, I put 0 here, 0 is equal to 2 plus t. I put negative 15 here, 
is equal to negative 1 plus 70 and I put 9 here for that 9 equal to 5 minus 40 so from that a t is negative 2 from that a 7 t is equal to negative 16 kind of oh sorry it's negative 14 huh so so for t is t is equal to negative 2 and that one again 9 minus 5 is going to be 6, right? So, sorry, it's going to be negative. It's going to be 9 minus um, 5 equal to negative 40. I know that's going to be 4 equal to negative 40. So, for this one, the t is equal to negative 1, as you see. The all the t should be the same in order for you to be able to say this, this is one of us. So, uh, so everyone, I want you to do the related questions on page 437 and 438. 438 and 439. Going to be the homework and submit it to me.